Make Your Mark on the Future, an interview with the leader of government business, presented by the Constitutional Modernization Initiative. Ladies and gentlemen, April Cummings. Good evening and thank you for joining us. Our conversation tonight is with the Honorable Kurt Tibbetts, leader of government business. Thank you for joining us, sir. Hi, good evening, April. Our focus is the constitutional modernization process. There's been a lot of work that's gone into this to date. Talk a little bit about the process and where we are right now. Thank you again for having me. Well, we had committed from before the last elections that had we become the government that we would restart the engines of the modernization process and continue it on. So for the past year, we have been working studiously, trying to wrap our minds around where we were up to 2003 when we had a draft new draft constitution and what sort of amendments we would be looking for to that draft given the time that had passed since then. We contracted the services of Professor Jeffrey Joel, who is an expert in constitutional law and he has also participated in, in these processes. So he brings a wealth of experience to it. And besides us meeting with ourselves, because as a government and, and, and as, as an organization, we had to make sure that we agreed among ourselves among certain things. So we worked through that process and then we also looked to see how best we could fine tune it given the climate within the Cayman Islands too to ensure that when we launched in January of this year that we had something that was sensible and pertinent to the times. But we knew full well that that was only a starting point. And so we got to that point in January. We launched the original proposals and that was simply a set of proposals to get the people of the Cayman Islands thinking about constitutional modernization and accompanying that we began the educational process which spoke to the various issues and dealt with the various options so that people could become informed and make their own decisions as to what they thought was best for us. After all the Constitution is all about the people and what their wishes and aspirations are. <coughs> so we've gone through the educational process and um, just last Thursday after going through dozens of meetings public meetings private meetings NGOs church organizations myriad of people and I think we have actually interacted with more than a thousand individuals Now that may not seem like a lot but it's a lot more than it was when we did the exercise last time so we are encouraged by the participation I mean I say a thousand people, it may well be a lot more if we talk about the call-ins, the call-in shows and radio and television and that type of stuff. So after hearing all of those and the Secretariat at every occasion were making notes of all of the various points being brought forward, all of those were collated and they were integrated into the initial proposals. Now we have the revised proposals. They have been published and I think a week has gone by since then and I haven't heard any clamor as to whether there are difficulties or not. But we will be doing another series of meetings now before we deal with a referendum. But these revised proposals can now be compared by the public with the original proposal so that they will know if we've taken their points into consideration. And, and we're at that stage now. We will continue the educational process and continue to have meetings and to interact. And the date for the referendum, I think we will announce within another two weeks. And, and, and that's where we are at present. So people who have an opportunity now to look at this revised document, they still have an opportunity to give public input yet Absolutely, again. absolutely. And so we could see some additional changes. Absolutely, absolutely. 
One of the things we've heard as we've gone through this process, um, of course it's politics and that's part of K-Man life. Yeah. Um, we've heard different views about different things and one of the um, concerns that have been expressed at times by people in the public is it's very uh, partisan in approach and at the end of the day, assuming that there's a referendum and you get the, the, you know, the confidence vote to go ahead to the UK, um, it will be important to show a unified front. Is that the case? It's very important. Um, I could take an approach and, 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 and blame the opposition, but I'm not going to do that because I don't think that's what it's all about. So let me not say anything regarding whose fault I may think it is. But the fact of the matter is that I believe we should have gotten together to discuss those issues, to try to gain consensus long before now. Nevertheless, at the Chamber Forum, which we participated in recently, I had a discussion with the leader of the opposition, and his expressions to me were that they wish for us to sit and talk. I think what he wants to do, as I understand it, is he needs to go out and do some meetings and have some interaction with the public. I was just hoping that all of this would have been done prior to now um, so that we could sit down and thrash out wherever the issues are that we have differences. There aren't that many. Um, the, the truth is the majority of the changes that are desired in a new constitution for the Cayman Islands are not controversial. But there are a few points which are controversial and we just have to work through them because people, some people are steadfast in what they believe and what they think and and they're not very keen to compromise so we'll just have to work through those and see how best we can get consensus so that when we go to negotiate a new constitution we're all singing from the same page that's important because if we go the opposition will be part of the negotiating team because they they do represent a certain segment of the society of the voting public and it, it it is not going to be a pretty scene around a negotiating table. Them saying one thing about a particular issue and, and, and us saying another thing and London won't be able to decide because the, the basis on which the UK agrees or disagrees with any points that we put forward is one, they must be with certain assurances that that position reflects the wishes of the majority of the people of the Cayman Islands and then of course not necessarily in that order but secondly they have to ensure that it does not conflict with what their interests are either for themselves or with regards to their international obligations so it is important that we are singing from the same song sheet